How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Y'all already know. I still got some stitches, man. I still got some stitches in my um I still got some stitches in my mouth, so uh but I wanted to come on here uh real quick. Y'all know y'all know uh I supposed to have like two weeks so you know what I'm saying to be able to uh get back right. Knocking my knocking my pills around. I'm doing all kind of stuff. What's up? What's up? What's up? How y'all doing, man? How y'all doing? Uh, I'm not at a uh, 100% just yet, but I am right over there at that, uh, I'm right over there at that, uh, 85, I'm about 85% back, but, uh, I just want, I wanted to come on here real quick, give me a minute, y'all, I'm trying to, uh, pull something up for y'all real quick, hold on one second, hold on one second, how y'all doing as y'all come in the room, come on in the room, Cause we 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 gonna talk about something real quick. You miss me, man? Yeah, man. It it do it hurt. Know that it hurt. <laughs> it it definitely it definitely hurt. Um, I still got some stitches up in it. You know what I'm saying? I still got some stitches in. Uh, it's stitched up over on this side right here. But um, I I wanted to come on here real quick. So you know, this is not going to be one of my lives. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we gonna have to keep it as a a teaching. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, I know y'all know how I normally give it, but you know, y'all gotta, y'all gotta be patient with me. One of the things I want to say to y'all, go ahead and double tap on my screen real quick. I had to have a couple of extractions. I had to have a root canal and I had to have several fillings, right? So I had, I had a, a lot of stuff done over on one side and then they got to come back and do the other side. Um, one of the things that I wanted to say to y'all and see, they wasn't able to pull it out. They had to cut it out. So that was that was the reason right there. One of the things that I want to say to y'all is this right here. You know, the last live that we did, we talked about, you know, you guys getting to the point where you're able to be unstuck. And I gave you guys, um, I gave you guys real good details, you know what I'm saying, on, you know, I gave you guys real good notes on how to get unstuck. But in the process of that, I started to thinking about it. Man, yeah, I haven't been drinking out of a, a straw. Hold on one second, y'all, because I really wanted to do this live with y'all, but I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and bring them in as well. Hold on one second, guys. I know Josh is gonna hit me up. He gonna be like, yo, I'm on, he, he be stalking me, y'all. I ain't kidding, he be on me so bad. He gonna be like, didn't I tell you the rest? Give me one second, y'all, we gonna get this thing going. So, uh, what, are, oh, Lord, here you go. Don't start, don't start with me. All right. One of the things, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, uh, I wanted to come on. Y'all, you guys already know, you know what I'm saying? I had the issue, you know what I'm saying? I had to go and, uh, get some work done on my mouth so you guys know I'll be out for a while. The last live video that I did with you guys, thank you so much for the gifts, man. The last live that I did for you guys, I told you guys about how to get unstuck, right? So what up going, what's going on Instagram? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, TikTok, how you doing, guys doing, man? I love you guys so much. I know you guys miss me. I miss you guys as well. Um, I haven't been live because I had to have a procedure done on my mouth um but y'all know how your coach is man i can't sit it out i can't i can't sit it out man i can't sit down i know i was supposed to not be live for like two weeks it's healing up but one thing about me is you know what i'm saying i'm so dedicated to my i'm so dedicated to the process i'm dedicated to to loving on you guys pushing you guys to your fullest potential i'm i'm dedicated to making sure you guys are really healing and developing the way that you want to man i tried to talk myself out of doing a live because it was but at the same time i told you guys this i said on the last video before i went out to have the surgery i said guys is this right here you got to make a decision within yourself to say i no longer want to live the way that i want i've been living i no longer want to put up with what it is that i've been putting up with i'm no longer tolerating the bare minimum you got to get to a place in your life where you understand that you deserve more that you deserve better as long as you tolerate less than what you deserve you're always going to get less than what you deserve as long as you accept the bare minimum from folk and when i say the bare minimum from folk i want you to understand the bare minimum that can be from your children that can be in a relationship that can be in a family ship that can be in a job ship whatever people will always give you 
less than what you deserve if that's what you continue to accept from them. So when coaches out here, and I'm telling you guys that you got to demand more out of yourself and you got to demand more out of the people that are connected to you, that's what I'm speaking about. That's what I'm talking about. Letting go of that lack thinking, letting go of that it don't happen for you type of thinking, letting go of I came from a, ba a bad background or a bad family, so these things don't happen to people like us. You got to let go of those type of thinking so that you can move forward and really develop the way that you truly do, should, should be living in your life. But as long as you allow them to give you the bare minimum, you got to understand that that's exactly what they're going to do. People are only going to continue to do what you allowed them to do. You got to step up and you got to make a decision within yourself to say that I'm no longer accepting this. I'm no longer tolerating this. I'm no longer putting up with this. You got to, you, because I'm telling you, if you continue to do it, that's what you're going to get every single time. If you continue to do it, that's what you're going to get every single time. And you got to understand that some people is cold out y'all. So I'm going to put this on, but I'm going to talk. Y'all y'all should still be able to hear me. I don't want the air to get into that. Uh, one of the things that you got to understand the most, one of the things that you got to understand the most is this right here. That you deserve to be with people, connected to people, that genuinely love and support you. You deserve to be connected to people that respect you as a person people that inspire you people that uplift you people that motivate you people that encourage you to live your best life if you out here and you're connecting yourself to folk or staying connected to folk that you already know you know what i'm saying if times get hard they going to bounce. If times get a little tough, they're going to bounce. Or as soon as things don't go the way that they want them to go, then they're going to bounce. That's going to be the first thing I'm going to ask you to write down in your notes. You know what I mean? Be mindful of how folk treat you when they don't get what they want. You want to know how to evaluate your connections? Start telling folks no. You want to know? You want to know how folk rock with you? Tell them no. Understand that. Because I just had surgery on my mouth, so I don't want the air to get in my mouth. And I had a message that I wanted to get to my people. And because I want to give them this message, I'm going to give them this message with this mask on my face. That's why I love. I don't want no air getting in it. But at the end of the day, I want you to understand. You got you to gotta get to that place. You got to get to that place where you understand that if you want to evaluate the people that surround you, tell them no. Tell them no one time. And you will see exactly who's for you and who's not. The moment that you tell people no, the moment that you don't come through for people how they want you to, the moment that you don't do what they want you to do, the moment that you don't act how they want you to act, that's going to show you everything that you need to know about these people that you call so-called friends. People that you call your A1 since day one. The ones that you done played with in the, in the sandbox. You got to understand that. See, a lot of times we don't pay attention to these things. And we don't pay attention to it because we're in the middle of the situation. We don't pay attention to it because we're blinded by the love that we have for them. You know what I'm saying? We blinded by the fact that we, we, we know that you could be a good person. It's the potential. That's right. Some of us, we fall in love with the potential. Hello, somebody. Some, yo, let's just be, let's just be real. Some of us, we really fall in love with the potential. Right? I got to take it off because it it's hot. Some people fall in love with their potential. It's because you see the type of person that they could be. If they really put forth the effort, you see the type of things that they could get accomplished if they really was to put forth the effort. But you got to understand that we're in a season right now where you can't be falling for potential. Hello, somebody. I can't fall in love with potential, baby. That's right. It's either you healed or you not. It's either you ready to love or you're not. It's either you all the way in or you not. It's either you ready to be in something that is help, happy, something that is healthy, something that is growing, something that's beneficial to the both of us or you're not. 
But one thing's for sure, it's not my job to come and fix you. It's not my job to, to come and save you from the situation that you're in. It's not my job to put my dreams and, and my goals and the things that I want to do on the back burner just so that you will be able to do what you want to do. Understand that. That's not my job. My job is not to stop my growth or to stunt my growth to be there for anybody. That's not what I'm about to do. Just like I can't ask you to change, you can't ask me to stay stuck. You might as well put it in your notes, baby. You might as well, you might, yeah, you might, yeah, put, yeah, you might as well put that in your notes. Thank you so much for the badges. I see y'all, I see y'all supporting over here. Double tap on my screen, double tap on my screen. Yeah, yeah, you gotta, you gotta understand, you gotta under, I can't put the mask on because it be, I tried to keep it on, man. I'm gonna get up off of here in a second. I just, I just wanted to talk to him for a minute. I'm, I just, I'm gonna get up off of here. But the thing about it is, you can't, I can't force you to change and you can't force me to stay stuck. You can't, you can't force me to stay in no situation where I'm not happy. You can't force me to stay in a situation where there's no balance. You can't force me to stay in a situation where I'm not being loved and respected. You can't expect for me to stay in a situation and continue to crave you and the love that you, that I have for you. You can't expect that from me when you're talking to me any kind of way, when you're inconsistent with the way that you handle me, when you don't show up for me the way that you said that you were. You can't expect for me to still want to be in that relationship. And the truth of the matter is, you ain't got to. Stop lying to yourself like you stuck. The first thing that I told you guys last week before I even went out to have surgery is that you are not stuck. You're not stuck. The only thing that's keeping you from growing the way that you want to grow and having the things that you truly want to have in life is the thoughts. Shut down the negative internal dialogue. Friends say, oh my God, come on, double tap on my screen. Double tap. Let's, let's just be real about it. Some of y'all, y'all have these negative conversations with yourself all day long. Y'all talk yourself out of everything it is that you want to do in life. The reason why you're not living like how you want to live right now is because of, the, of, of yourself. It's the things that you're thinking. You're sitting over there telling yourself how you can't grow. You're telling yourself how you can't heal. You're telling yourself how hard it's going to be for you to move forward. Every single thing that you got going on right now, you're thinking that, that somebody is in your way. You're thinking that somebody is holding you up. And the truth of the matter is, the only thing that's preventing you from making that next move is the internal dialogue that you're having within yourself you got to learn how to one first and foremost you got to demand more out of yourself and demand more out of the people that's connected to you and two you got to learn how to shut down that negative dialogue the conversations that you have within yourself stop telling yourself that you can't do it because you can there's nobody showing up to save you and I know that that might hurt some folks' feelings. I know that that might make some people feel a certain type of way. I know that that might make you feel, you know what I'm saying, oh, coach is coming for me. But the truth of the matter is, my love, nobody's coming to save you. Nobody. Stop lying to yourself. Nobody's coming to pick you up. Nobody's coming to rescue you. Nobody's going to come and pour into you. That's not what's going to happen. If you want to grow, if you want to elevate, if you want to live up to your fullest potential, if you want to get unstuck, you got to take the initiative to say that I demand more out of myself. I'm going to show up for me. My growth is personal. Hello? My healing is personal. My development it's personal. Everything that I'm doing, it ain't got nothing to do with anybody else. It has everything to do with what I owe me. If you're honest with yourself right now and you know that you owe yourself something, double tap on my screen, baby. Yeah, that's right. Y'all should be tearing the phone up right now. That's right. If you know that you owe yourself something, if you know that you owe yourself some stuff, double tap on my screen. Double tap on that screen real quick. We should be at 100K on these likes. Let's go over here Instagram. I'm on TikTok. Let's go. Let's go. Double tap on that screen. Oh, baby. Yes, you're right. So it's personal. It's personal. My growth is personal personal my healing is personal my comeback oh it's personal baby this ain't got nothing to do with nobody else this got everything to do with me that's right i owe myself some stuff that's right come on over here instagram come on double tap on there real quick send me some love real quick go ahead and send me some love because a lot of times we didn't play with ourselves ain't nobody played with us more than we didn't play with ourselves ain't nobody doubted us like we didn't self-doubted nobody ain't put us down the way that we put ourselves down ain't nobody had more fear about us being successful or us growing in life the way that we have ourselves you got to 
get to a place in life where you remove that self-doubt. Stop saying that you can't do this, you can't do that. You have everything that's within you that you need in order for you to grow, in order for you to develop, in order for you to live your best life. It's all inside of you, but you got to wake it up. You got to wake it up. I dare you to get active. I dare you to get active, baby. I dare you to get active. Y'all know I still got stitches in my mouth, so I can't I can't say it how I want to say it. But, baby, but baby y'all, I see my dancing ladies. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so much, man. Listen here. I'm trying to tell you. got to get active, baby. You got to get active. It ain't going to come to you. You, you got to get active. If you want to know how to get, get unstuck, show up for yourself every day. Even on the days when you don't want to. Even on the days when you're tired. Even on the days when you're frustrated. Even on the days when you don't want to do it. It. Even on the days when you don't even want to get out of bed, you got to wake up and you got to get active, baby. That's right. I'm showing up despite what it looks like. I'm just showing up despite how dark it is. I'm showing up no matter what anybody else say. Understand this is personal. Nobody have played with me the way that I played with me. And guess what? I'm back for everything. Yeah, I want everything that you stole from me, baby. Double tap on my screen, y'all. Like, yeah, yeah, baby. You, you, y'all know me over here. Y'all already know what time it is, baby. I, I want to get into, I want to get into it. But, but these stitches say no. <laughs> these stitches say no. I'm gonna, have, yeah, I gotta, I gotta give it to you in the teacher form today. I gotta give it to you in the teacher form today, baby. These stitches say no. Understand that? Yeah, you, you gotta get to that place though. You gotta, you, you owe it to yourself. You owe it to yourself because the truth of the matter is, ain't nobody gonna come and do it for you. If you don't wake up every single day and you don't go after it the way that you deserve to go after it if you don't wake up every single day and understand y'all homework while i was out y'all homework was to do what i wanted y'all to sit down and i wanted y'all to figure out your worth come on talk to me nice yeah because see we can lie about it all day long a lot of us say that we know we know our worth i go on timelines all day long i'm on social media all day and I see so many people trying to act like they know their worth. You don't know your worth. And that's the reason why I gave you the homework. I'm not one of those coaches and y'all already know it. I'm an in your face type of coach. I'm a hold you accountable type of coach. I'm all up in your business type of coach. I'm peeping through your windows all in your relationship type of coach. I'm very hands on. I see the things that you say. I see the things that you do. But I'm going to tell you something right now. Knowing your worth. When you know your worth, you won't, you won't settle for no anything. When you know your worth, you won't be connected to no anything. When you know your worth, you understand the power of your response. When you know your worth, you are not codependent on other folk. When you know your worth, you don't hang out with no any and everybody. When you know your worth, you don't swing your feet up under everybody's table. When you know your worth, you don't go outside your way drinking from every single cup. When you know your worth, you're not thirsty for attention. When you know your worth, you're not a pick me pick me type of individual why because when you know your worth you already know induce come on man yeah, double, double tap on my screen. Send me some love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In due season, baby. In due season. In due season. In due season. Come on, talk to me nice. In due season. I'm talking to the people that really know your worth. If you really know your worth, send me some love real quick. When you really know your worth, baby. In due season. Come on, talk to me. In due season, baby. That's right. I'm planting my seeds, but wait till my harvest come. Hello, somebody. When you really know your worth, you don't run out that folk. You don't beg out the folk. You don't text people two and three and four, five times. You don't go over there knocking on nobody's doors looking for them. You don't go over there trying to talk to their mama. You don't go over there and try to be friends, they friends, so that you can try to stay connected to them. When you know your worth, oh baby, that yeah, you you better know it, baby. It's a pleasure. Hello, somebody. Don't turn me up the way that I want to be turned up in this car, cause y'all know how I give it up. Y'all know how I give it up every single video, baby. These stitches, these stitches won't let me, but y'all know, baby. Y'all know how I give it up. Y'all know how I give it up. Don't play with me on these apps. Please don't play with me. The fact, yeah, you don't know your worth when you're still settling for no anything. You don't know your worth, you know what I'm saying, when you're letting people talk to you crazy. You don't know your worth when you're running after somebody, begging them to love you, begging them to value you, begging them to text you back, begging them for your love, begging them for affection. You don't know your worth when you're doing that type of thing. Huh. Y'all, when you know your worth, baby, it's a pleasure. To share space with me. It's a pleasure to be loved by me. It's a pleasure to be able to have my type of company. That's when you know your worth. When you know your worth, you don't let nobody play with you. When you know your worth, you let folk know up front, baby. You let them know up front. Oh, baby, I'm not to be played with. Put it in your notes. 
Put it in your notes. Oh, I'm, I'm not to be played with. 2023, baby, don't even worry about it. I'm not to be played with. Steph Curry in this thing called life. In this life court, oh, baby, I'm Steph Curry. Understand that I'm taking shots. I'm taking shots from the stand. I'm taking shots from the three throw line. I'm taking shots from the three point. I'm all over the place, baby. I'm not passing the ball to a single soul. Understand that. Call me selfish all you want. Say that I'm this and say that I'm that all you want. But what I want you to understand that you gonna have to give me me that's right you gonna have to give me me 2023 you gonna have to give me me baby i'm coming for all of my stuff i don't know if y'all watch my videos but baby i didn't put it out there already i'm coming for all my stuff hello somebody if you know that it's time it's repo season in your life do me a favor real quick put it in my comments repo season mm -hmm. put it in my comments <laughs> yeah come on now double tap on that screen yeah Oh, it's repo season. It's repo. It's repo season. It's repo season, baby. For a lot, for a lot of folk, a lot of people that thought that they played with me this year, oh, they gonna feel it in their chest. Don't worry about it. A lot of folk that thought that they got over, oh, they gonna feel that. Don't worry about it. Don't even worry about that, baby. I ain't even concerned about a lick back. So don't think that that's what I'm talking about when I say don't worry about it. I mean, you gonna watch me. That's right. You gonna have to watch me win. You gonna watch me smile. You gonna watch me grow. You gonna watch me evolve. You gonna watch me create that same person that I told you that I was gonna be. Oh, baby. You're going to have to watch me win Understand that because see the rules is as such It's either you win with me Or you watch me win But taking an L, oh baby, I'm not losing mm -mm. I ain't taking none of them, baby It's repo season It's repo of some stuff I'm not taking no L's. You can either win with me or you can watch me win. Oh, baby, it's repo season. I want every single thing that the devil stole from me. Hello, somebody. Y'all gonna have to give me my stuff. I'm back for it. Hello, somebody. Y'all gonna have to give me me. And that's just how you have to move. Getting unstuck out of that place, it all requires you to do. First thing that you have to understand that getting unstuck simply requires you to make a decision within yourself to say that I am sick of my own shit. I'm sick of my own shit. Understand that I'm sick of the way that I've been playing with myself I'm sick of the way that I've been lowballing myself I'm sick of the way that I've been putting myself on a clearance I'm sick and tired of the way that I've been playing with me In order for you to develop that to Man, come on Come on, come on, come on, come on Come on, let's just be real. Let's just let's just be real. Let's be real about it. Let's be let yeah, come on, let's just be real. Double tap on the screen. Send me some love. I see y'all. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I see we at 100 well, 139k. Let's go. Let's go. We're talking about getting unstuck. We're talking about getting unstuck. If you want to get unstuck, oh baby, you can. You can, you can, but you are, are you sick of you yet? Because see, that's, 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 that's the time when you're ready to change. Friend got a hand in the air. I know that's right. Tell the truth, shame the devil, baby, because trust and believe it's more than you. It's more than you. All of us have been at that point. So you ain't got nothing to be shamed of over here. When I go lie, baby, understand that it's judgment free. That's right. You free to cry over here. You free to dance over here. You free to do whatever you got to do. Understand that. All you got to do, number one, is get sick and tired of yourself and make a decision within your own life to say that I want something bigger and I want something better for me. And not only do I want it, oh, baby, I didn't already developed me a plan to go get it hello <laughs> yeah play with me if you want to baby oh that's right i got a whole plan baby that's right i ain't got much to say to nobody because i'm planning i ain't got i ain't got no hanging out that i want to do with nobody i'm planning i ain't got no phone calls that i want to make ain't no brunches that i want to attend i'm planning i'm using the rest of this year to do what i got a plan i got some stuff that i got up my sleeve baby i got some growth that i'm working on i got some healing that i'm working on i got some development that i'm working on understand that i'm at a place in my life right now where I realize that ain't nobody played with me like how I played with me and if I want to grow if I want to heal if I really want to live up to my fullest potential then guess what I gotta do I gotta snap up out of it and I gotta get active I gotta I gotta strategize baby I gotta get some planning done because there's some things that I want to do in my new year getting unstuck starts with you changing your mind Second thing is developing your plan. The third thing is what? Some of y'all already know. Some of y'all know. I, I tell y'all. Some of y'all start changing your mind. Developing your plan. Take your notes. Take your notes. Changing your mind. Developing your plan. Mm -hmm. And being committed to the plan. Being committed to the plan. You got to demonstrate discipline. Self-discipline. 
Oh, that's gonna be the yeah. That's on somebody's toes. I'm sorry. Yep, yeah, that's in somebody's in somebody's house. That's in somebody's business. Yeah, I, I know that. Yeah, go ahead and, and, and do what you gotta do though. Uh, cause I'm here now. Mm -hmm. Change your mind. <laughs> yeah, strategize your plan. Now you gotta practice self discipline, and that right there is the real problem. It's because we lack discipline. We know exactly what we need to do, but we choose to do otherwise. Y'all might as well go ahead and send me some love. Because that right there, yeah, that's me with my feet on your coffee table. Hello, that's me That's me running up and down your hall right there. That's me in your kitchen rattling your pots and your pans. And those of you that was trying to get ready for work, I know y'all already done propped that bit. Yep, y'all done propped the phone up against the bathroom mirror. Go ahead. Yeah, because yeah, I'm in your business, right? Self-discipline. Hello, somebody. She's talking about clean house, baby. You already know it. Because when you start talking about self-discipline, when you start saying stuff like that, oh, yeah, people get offended. People get angry about that. Let me tell you why. Because we'll get to the place where we develop the plan We know exactly what it is that we need to do We know exactly how we should be operating those things But because we get to feeling what? A little bit lonely We allow that loneliness that we feel To have us reconnecting with people That we already know don't mean us no good What happens when we make that plan We know what we're supposed to do And because that individual then did what? Sent that hey big head Then sent that text message Sent that email That's then sent that message through your friend of a friend now now all of a sudden, here you are, torn with the idea of reconnecting with them, torn with the idea of going back over there and trying to start something up with that individual again, when you already know that you ain't got no business over there hanging with them, you ain't got no business talking to them, you ain't got no business texting them, you ain't got no business dealing with them in no type of capacity. Why? Because they've already showed you the individual that they are, you already know that they dirty, you know that they low down. Down. You know that they narcissistic. You know that they are toxic. You know that they are inconsistent. You know that they don't value you. You know that they don't respect you. But because you don't practice self discipline. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because, yeah, because, because you don't practice self discipline. What you do? Here you go running back. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Because you don't, you, yeah, come on now. <laughs> come on, friend. I ain't mean to be in your business like that, but yes, I did. Because you lack self-discipline. Mm -hmm. Because you lack self-discipline, you go running back to those toxic situations. Because you lack self-discipline, here you go running back to that narcissistic individual, that toxic individual. Because you lack self-discipline and you fail at holding yourself accountable. Yeah. See, it's easy to blame other folk for why you broke. It's easy to blame other folk for why you're still down bad. It's easy to hold other folks accountable. But when somebody come into your life and they're telling you that it starts with you, now you want to... People can't do what you don't allow. People can't walk you like a dog if you don't allow it. People can't talk to you crazy if you know when to exit. People can't drain you of your good energy if you don't let them, you in total and complete control of everything. And real peace is knowing that you ain't got to deal with nothing to nobody if you don't want to. So if you already know, yeah, if you already know that they don't deserve you, what you over there for? If you already know that they inconsistent, what you over there for? That's a real question. And half of the time you're running out the folk, you got to help. That's another lie, I understand, yeah. A lot of a, a, a lot of times that's what you're doing. You're running out the folk that you can't you gotta help. You over there stressed out, down bad, crying, going through the most with folks you gotta help. How that work? These people that psychologically abuse you so much that you don't even know your value. You don't even know your worth. You don't know if you're coming or going. Because you done let them play it off in your mind for so long. That you don't know if you coming or you going. You don't even see life without them. You trying to make it work the best that you can. <laughs> yeah, I be doggone, baby. Yeah, they'll go outside their way and they'll damage you. They'll hurt you. They'll walk you like a complete dog and leave you over there doing what? Running after them. You still crying. You whining and crying and trying to make it work. They didn't they didn't hurt you and now you crying to get back with them. They didn't destroy you. 
and now you crying to get back with them. They didn't treated you like a dog, then publicly humiliated you. They didn't went outside their way to destroy everything that is good within you. And now here you are running after them. At, what? Mm -mm. That's when you know it's real abuse. That's when you know it's way deeper than what you thought that it was. Because how in the... Come on now. <laughs> Friends say show sure will. For, for real. For, we, we see it all the time. Uh, we see it all the time. And the, and the reason why that happens is because we don't know our worth. The reason why we go through the things that we go through in life on repeat is because we fail at learning our worth and knowing what it is that we bring to the table. Once you sit yourself down and you do a self-evaluation on yourself, identify your weak areas in your life. Identify the things that you need to correct within your own life. Then accept me flaws and all, dismantle that thinking. Send me some love, send me some love. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm gonna tell you why. Send me some love. Double tap on my screen, y'all. Send me some love. Thank you. I know we can strike 200k. We are at what 192. We can get to 200k. Let's go. What's going on, Instagram? Y'all still hanging out, man? Y'all send me some love. Double tap on the screen real quick, y'all. Y'all, man. Y'all know my mouth still stitched up, so I gotta give it to y'all the best way I can right now. I gotta give it to y'all the best way that I can right now. My mouth still got these stitches in it. But I'm, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do what I can over here real quick because I had so many people that was hitting me up asking me about the unstuck video that I had to come back and I had to bring it back, you know what I mean? Just for some of these people, you know what I'm saying? For y'all to understand, you know, to make sure that everybody get the message. I don't care about none of that. I be trying to make sure y'all, y'all growing. I want to make sure y'all all right. You know what I'm saying? One of the things is you got to understand that as long as you ex 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 allow people to give you I had um I had some work done. I had some work done. You know what I'm saying? You got to get to that place where you understand that listen. It's okay for you to be by yourself. It's okay for you to focus on yourself. It's okay for you to make yourself a priority in your life. It's okay for you to wake up every single day and really choose you. It's okay for you to love yourself the same way that you've been loving everybody else for years. It's okay for you to become the individual to yourself that you've been to everybody else. It's okay for you to make yourself a priority. The season that we're in right now, oh baby, I'm being selfful. I'm filling up my own cup. I'm replenishing my own cup. I'm making myself my own responsibility. I'm not taking on no other projects. I'm not trying to build a bay, build a boo, build a bun bun. I'm not going through that. It's either you come all the way here or you stay away from me. I'm done trying to connect myself with folk that's trying to learn how to love. That's trying to understand what love is. That's trying to do this and that. Baby, that's not for me. That's not for me. I'm not signing up for that. I, it's, it's a relationship versus a project. Put it in your notes. I'm going to give you a moment. Mm -hmm. Relationship versus project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to tell you the difference. Mm -hmm. Relationship versus project. I'm not accepting no more projects. I'm not accepting no more folks that I got to work on. I ain't got. I ain't accepting no more folks that I got to pray for if day in and day out just to make sure that they do the right thing. I'm not accepting no more folks that I got to go through their phone. I'm not accepting no more folk that I got to check your email. I'm not accepting nobody, no more folk that I got to go and, and try to find you in the club, find you at your mama house, find you at your best friend's house. I'm not accepting nobody no more that I got to go over there and I got to teach how to do this, teach how to do that. I'm not Except that nobody no more that ain't got no stable income that don't have reliable transportation don't have their own place to live i'm not except that nobody who ain't got their adult business in order understand how do you before trying to connect with me don't even come over here if you ain't got your stuff together baby understand that that's not my job to teach you about credit it ain't my job to motivate you to get your ged it ain't my job to bend over backwards to try to do this this and that i am not your mama and what k michelle say you can raise a man and I'm not trying to. 
<laughs> yeah, and I'm not trying. I'm not. I'm not. That ain't my job, baby. That ain't my job. I'm not. I'm. That's what a project is. That's what a project is. A project is looking at somebody who got some type of potential and thinking that you can go and love them into being what you need them to be. I'm not about to do it. I'm not signing up for it. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I want a relationship where both people are operating at a hundred percent. You got your stuff. I got my stuff. We both know how to go and get it, and we can put that all together and build an empire. If you're not on that level, then you are not fit to deal with. With me you are not fit to be in a relationship with me understand that it's not my job to raise you it's not my job to come over there and teach you what love is that's not my job and the reason why most people are unhappy in their relationship right now is because they unequally yoke you got one individual that's ready to love that's ready to grow that's ready to heal that's ready to have all these different great things and you got another individual that's over there that's double-minded they got one foot in the relationship the other foot out you they over there don't know if they coming to going halfway don't know what's going on you got to go over there and hold their hand the whole entire way you got to coach and guide them through every single thing you got to talk them off the ledge every time it turn around they over there negative about something don't believe that they can do this can't believe that they can do that ain't been love property don't know how to say i love you don't know how to express love and here you are running yourself in the ground trying to teach them here you are running yourself to death trying to do this trying to do that the devil is a lie don't know relationship requires Say to me, oh yeah, well, you know, love hurt no love. That's what you're hurt for. That's what you're hurt for. Loving the wrong individual. You ain't there. Love don't hurt, baby. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is giving, baby. That's right. You're hurt because you're loving the wrong person. That ain't there. That ain't that ain't yours right there. That ain't that right there. That, that one ain't for you. Hello, <laughs> yeah, that's what the problem is right there. But some of y'all, y'all so hot, caught up on, well, I didn't put all this money into him, Street. I didn't invested all this time into him, and I didn't gave him like three babies, and I just don't see how I'm gonna go, babe. I can tell you how you can go put one foot in front of the other and give yourself a slight push. That's it. That's all, baby. It don't require all that you think that it requires. Send me some love across the here. Some of y'all, y'all be so intimidated and so scared of life and so scared to step out on your own, talking about, oh yeah, well they do this and they do that, but half. Of the time not even realizing that the only reason why they able to do the things that they do is because of you <laughs> yeah but you, you you won't give yourself no credit you won't show yourself no love you won't show yourself no grace that's right they're able to move around and be successful the way that they are because of you they're able to do some of these things that they're doing right now all because of you if you pull back then you will see exactly what i'm saying so that's the reason why when you get up out of these relationships with these folks that's right friend you i, I don't play no games over here you're gonna they're gonna learn today i know instagram they still they still slightly kind of new to me baby oh they're gonna learn today that's the reason why when y'all decide that y'all no longer want to be in a relationship with them when y'all start really moving forward and you start really healing and you start really focusing on yourself and your development when you start taking your life really personal what you got to understand is the reason why they start calling you texting you and all of a sudden being able to do the things that you've been begging them to do for years the reason why they able to do that stuff when they see that they about to lo lose you the reason why they able to go ahead and jump into doing those things is because they already know the value of you you don't <laughs> yeah, go pick your phone up. Go pick your phone up. Some of y'all threw it. I know. Go get it real quick because I got a little bit more and I'm going to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's the thing. See, when they know that you about gone, oh, then they start panicking. Hello, somebody. Some of y'all in a panic right now. Y'all like, man, she telling my whole relationship because that's exactly where we at with it. I didn't cut him off already. Told him I didn't change my mind already. Already trying to move forward in my life. And now all of a sudden, he want to call me. He want to text me. He want to show up on time. Now he all of a sudden want to plan dates. Now I don't get those what you're doing messages. Now he actually have a plan for my life. Oh, baby, the devil is a lie. One thing I want you to write down, baby, is that it's a finesse. Baby, you will not finesse me back into darkness you won't finesse me back into depression you won't just uh, finesse me back over there in the stress you are not about to finesse me to come back over there in no relationship where i already didn't gave you enough time to get it prepared baby one thing's for sure two things for certain my, my grandmama told me what she said baby don't take nobody all day to do nothing if they really want to do it it ain't gonna take them all day to do it when folks really value you and value the person that you are you ain't gotta say it to them number one time you say it to them one time and you gonna watch their whole entire behavior change why because of their fear of 
love losing you. It ain't the love that keep them in place. Hello, somebody. Oh, y'all gonna make me do it, but I'm trying. You know what I'm saying? The thing about it is, I need for you to understand it ain't the love that keeps them in a relationship with you. Love is the bare minimum. Them loving you is the bare minimum. Hello, somebody. That's right. We're talking about getting unstuck and making a decision in your life is where it starts. The second thing is developing a plan. The third thing is being committed to the plan that you put out there. The fourth thing I want you to understand is you got to know who you are. You got to know your worth because if you don't know your worth, then everybody else will tell you who you are. They will tell you your worth and nine times out of ten, they going to lowball you the whole entire way. So if you're tired of being on the clearance rack, then I need for you to pay attention. I need for you to tune in. I need for you to take the notes. I need for you to wake up. I need you to get active. I need you to start practicing good what? Self-discipline. And shutting down negative dialogue. I just ran through all y'all notes. I just ran through every single note that I gave y'all since we started. Yeah, you better learn how to write fast. <laughs> you better learn how to write fast. Yeah, cause the, the thing about it is yeah, they'll go all outside their way. The love is the bare minimum. I know where I'm at because I'm going right back there because I ain't going to turn that loose yet. I'm going to tell you that right now because I got some stuff I want to say about that. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to piss a whole bunch of people off with this live and it's okay. Stitched up mouth and all. I'm going to piss a whole bunch of people off with this live. Love is the bare minimum, baby. I want, yeah, because see, you can tell me that you love me all day long, but if I don't fear, feel the love that you say that you have, then baby, that love is just another word. Understand that. People can tell you that they love love you all day long but if you don't feel the love that they have for you then that love is just a word understand that being loved by an individual i don't care what nobody say about it being loved by an individual is the bare minimum we got to talk about the other stuff that got to come with the love like the respect like the comprehension like being able to communicate like an adult like the forgiveness or like the compromise like the showing up like the reciprocation we got to have all of those things as well i don't know about y'all but baby you got to give me some balance mind body and soul <laughs> that's the bare minimum right there baby you loving me yeah I, a puppy can love me a baby can love me a stranger can love me that's the bare minimum can you do the rest of this i had somebody write this morning they said dang i understand what she's saying but that the way she put it is love is hard work that's easy that everything i just said that's easy and guess what it don't cost you a thing that's how I know. I ain't said to her, but I was thinking it. She ain't signed up for life coaching, so I ain't feel no need to dig deep into it. But I showed thought to myself. I said, well, you know what? She most definitely don't know her worth because at the end of the day, those things right there, when you're operating at your fullest potential, when you know what it is to love and to receive love, when you know what it is to be in a healthy relationship or a healthy marriage, all of the things that I, I just named, oh, baby, those things come easy to you. That's a part of your everyday life. That's something that you do on a regular basis. You don't just do that in a relationship relationship you also do that in a friendship you also do that with relationship with people on the outside of you as well but i didn't say nothing because like i said she ain't signed up for life coaching with me so i just left it at what she said and just hit the like on the, on the comment and kept right on strolling but i thought to myself ain't no way in the world y'all going for this but then then again maybe you is mm -mm. not over here but uh, love, love loving me is the bare minimum baby I need i need everything else that's gonna come along with that too she's like oh my god i love you girl i love you more <laughs> and I and I do. I, I I love you more. But one thing, and, and now I'm, before I get up off here, because y'all know I don't even supposed to be on here. I got to let these things heal up in my mouth. Before I get up off here, I want to say this. First and foremost, yeah, go ahead and double tap on my screen. Oh, y'all almost said 300k. Let's go. Go ahead and show out then. Okay, for the sick and shut in. That's what I'm talking about. Go ahead and love me down real quick. What's going on? Now, before I get up out of here, let me also say this. I told you guys it's important how important it is for you to practice good. How to practice, you know what I'm saying, a uh, uh, good self-discipline, right? And I also want to say this before I leave. At the end of the day, if you continue in these same cycles, it's a waste of your time, your energy, and your efforts. When you didn't work so hard to get out of these type of situations, when you didn't bust your behind to get out of these negative situations when you done done all of this to be able to grow to be able to evolve to be able to create a better version of yourself when you didn't put your best foot forward to really manifest the woman or the man that you are right now don't you ever allow anybody to drag you back to that place of brokenness back to that place of shame and betrayal don't you allow nothing or nobody to force you to live 
in your past. Don't you allow nobody to hold you hostage by that love phrase. Don't you allow nobody to finesse you out of what it is that you really know. Because you got to understand. Baby, you can have it right there, right there in black and white. And guess what they'll do? Excuse me, one second. You will have it right there in black and white, but a skillful narcissistic person? I'm trying to get this here. Hold on one second, y'all. I'm on, I'm on both lines, so I got to I gotta get them together. I don't want it to cut off on y'all, man. I'm sorry. I'm going to get us back right. There we go. I got to make sure my people straight over here, y'all. There we go. There we go. You got to understand that what these skillful manipulators, that's out right. One of the things that you got to remember about a skillful manipulator, you can have it right there in black and white. You can have all the facts and they'll still go outside their way to twist and turn things to make it seem as though you're the bad guy, to make it seem as though you're the villain, to make it seem as though you're the problem. To make it seem like you're the reason why the relationship or the marriage or the friendship or the family ship or whatever is going on that is not being handled correctly. When you're dealing with a skillful manipulator, they will go outside of their way to psychologically abuse you. They will play on your thoughts. They will play on your emotions. They know just what to say and just what to do to ruffle your feathers, to gaslight you. They know exactly what to say to do to get up under your skin. They know exactly what to say and do. So before I leave, I want you to understand. And I say this on every video. There's power in your response. Friends say checkmate. I know some of y'all just went bananas with just that part. Baby, it's power. It's so, it's so much power in your response. When you learn that you ain't got to respond to everything. When you learn you ain't got to clear up nothing for nobody. When you learn that it's okay that you ain't got to tell your side of the story. When you learn that you ain't got to go over there and get nobody to be on your side. Or to come and pat your back or stroke your ego or understand where you coming from. When you learn that it's power in your response because you got to understand something. Dre, I'm gonna have to give it to him, Dre. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to give it to him. I was trying, I was trying not to, I was trying not to do it, baby. But I, I was trying to get up over him. You gotta understand something about the power of your response. You gotta understand that and when you get to a place where you master your response and you learn that you ain't gotta speak on everything, you ain't gotta be a part of everybody's situation, you ain't gotta clear up nothing for nobody, and you don't owe nobody no explanation for you doing what is best for you when you get to that place in your life where you understand that baby is so much power in my response let me tell you why because your response is going to tell them exactly who you are your response yeah if it's some coaches on here i know y'all going crazy if it's some coaches on here i know y'all on here like man here she goes yeah if it's some coaches on here i know she was i know y'all going crazy right now i know y'all like man she on it this morning yeah it's powering your response because your response is going to tell them exactly who you are you got to understand that when you understand that part that means that when you say that you're growing when you say that you're evolving when you say that you're living up to your fullest potential when you say that you don't care anymore you got to show some folk you you got to understand when they saying and doing certain things, then guess what? You can just walk on away. <laughs> they baffled at that point. <laughs> Baby, I don't even owe you an explanation for what it is that I'm doing anymore. Baby, if you think for one second I'm about to sit down here and I'm about to ball out crying like how I used to do, watch me walk away. Things that I, that used to bother me, oh baby, I just, they don't even bother me no more. Stuff that I used to trip over, oh, I just step over it now. Things that I used to go outside my way to follow up, baby, I don't even give it my attention no more. Matter of fact, I use my block, my unfollow, my unfriend features on a regular basis, baby. You will not get that old version of me, that triggered version of me that was always upset 
upset about something that was always whining and crying about something that part of me that was down bad that was depressed that was stressed out that was suffering from anxiety that broke down version of me that did not know my worth that broke down version of me that did not know if I was coming or going oh baby you will never be able to bring that individual back oh baby I buried her in 2017 you better ask some folks on Facebook baby I let her go a long time ago I am not safe to be played with that's right you want to play with somebody baby but you won't play over here I am not safe to be played with you do you see my hoodie baby y'all know they gonna be available they available Thanksgiving Friday Black Friday whatever you want to call it go to my website baby my detachment is what top tier if I don't know how to do nothing else I know how to get up out your life if I don't know how to do nothing else I know how to cut folk off if I don't know how to do nothing else I know how to unplug from folk if I don't know how to do nothing else oh baby I know how to get right on up out your life and you are absolutely right Josh what I tell y'all all the time ain't no spinning a block for me <laughs> yeah, my detachment top tier. Baby, I know how to get out your life for good. You ain't got to worry about a response because you watching me grow. You watching me heal. You watching me live my best life. You watching me be successful. You watching me do all of those things. Oh, baby, that's going to hurt you enough right there. <laughs> yeah, that right there. That gonna, that's going to be the part. It's LeroyHall.com. My website, Leroy Hall, L-A-R-O-Y. Hall, H A L L dot com, Leroy Hall dot com. But I'll put it in the caption when I uh, put the video up. But I want, yeah, I want you to understand my detachment top tier, baby. Top tier. If I don't know how to do nothing else, I know how to get out of folk life. If I don't know how to do nothing else, baby, I know how to abort the mission. Understand that I'm not giving nobody that type of power over me. I'm not giving nobody that type of authority over me. I'm not letting nobody force me to live in my past. I'm not letting nobody use hold me hostage by the term of they loving me or anything like that. I want you to understand, oh, baby, yeah, I'm, I'm, when I walk in the room, y'all know how I walk in. Oh, baby, I'm not walking in like no coward. I'm not walking around with my head between my legs. I'm not walking around acting like I'm sad and depressed. Oh, baby, I wake up and it's a pleasure to be alive. It's a, it's a blessing for me to be able to partake in the next day. Understand that I'm just not the person that I used to be. And that's how you have to live every single day of your life. Every day. Be in your own competition every day. Waking up understanding that you deserve more. That you deserve better. Waking up every single day making yourself a priority. Waking up every single day understanding that baby all I ever needed was me. Mm. When you do your self-evaluation, evaluate your weak areas, focus on building your weak areas. Oh, that's what I wanted to say something to y'all about. When you identify your weak areas and stuff that you got going on in life, what I want you to do is dismantle that thinking of accept me flaws and all. We are not taking that into 2023. And I'm going to slow it down because I want to make sure y'all write it down. In 2023, don't you be running around here to asking nobody to accept you flaws and all. Because that is an absolute no. Baby, that's a big no. That's a salmon cow cowl. That'll be a no for me, sir. I'm not about to do it. Don't ask me to accept you flaws and all. And I will not ask you to accept me flaws and all. Because if you got, got some flawed areas in your life, if you got some things in your life that you already know is going to prevent you from being in a happy healthy relationship then guess what you need to set the relationship situ um, section out go on over there with the single folk you're not ready to be over here just yet you ain't, you ain't ready to be over here just yet hello somebody if you're i want you to understand i'm not accepting nobody flaws and all i'm not even about to do it i'm gonna tell you that right now go work on yourself Go work on yourself. Go fix the things that you need to fix within yourself. You will not come over here and try to use your past trauma to try to make me feel bad or try to guilt trip me into being your mama. I already told y'all y'all was going to be mad at me and I'm over it now. Mm -hmm. I'm over it now. I already knew I was going to piss people off when I came on this live, but y'all already knew that already. Go ahead and double tap. Okay, y'all at 300K. Go ahead and run it on up then. We double tap on the screen. Friend said, oh, I already knew it, friend. You, you, you're you not going to use your past trauma to try to guilt trip me. I'm not going to let you do that to me. I'm not going to let you use your past trauma to try to make me feel like I got to settle for less than what I deserve. I ain't got nothing to do with what your mama didn't do. I ain't got nothing to do with what your granny and your great granny and them didn't do. I ain't got nothing to do with your friends that betrayed you. I ain't got nothing to do with the job that laid you off all of that ain't got nothing to do with me your past trauma your past pain your past this and that your yesterday stories you'll go over that one time at band camp whatever you got going on in your past oh baby you will not use your past trauma to come over here and try to treat me like crap and make me think that it's my job to come and fix you to come and repair you to give you more love to give you more affection to give you more of this and more of that y'all know i'm a firm believer in what why would i give you more of what you already don't appreciate why will i continue to pour my love my affection my 
my attention, my everything onto a, a person that already don't appreciate it. I'm not giving you more of what you don't appreciate already. Oh, the devil is a lie, baby. That's right. You won't play with me. Not like that. Oh, no, you got me messed up. You better go over there and heal. You better go over there and deal with what you got to deal with. Dismantle the thinking of I got to love you, flaws and all. I'm not doing it. Mm-mm. I'm not doing it. Go sign up for therapy. They got coaching sessions. They got therapy sessions all over the place. They, they on every single platform. Go sign up and get you some help. Go go get you some help because it ain't going to be over here. You would not come into my life and cause me hell because somebody else came into yours and did it to you. It's as simple as that. That's why I stand with it, friend. You will not ruin me because somebody went outside their way to try and ruin you. I'm not about to let you do that to me. I'm not about to do it. That hurt people, hurt people street. And you shouldn't say that because you know it's going to be some people that's going to feel a certain type of way. That's just too harsh. That's just too blunt. Why do you have to do your sessions like that? Why do you have to say it to the people like that? Because I'm sick and tired of tiptoeing around folk. That's why I'm sick and tired of avoiding the elephant in the room. I'm sick and tired of playing nice with folk. I'm not going to be that motivational speaker. I'm not going to be that life coach. I'm going to I'm gonna be blunt. I'm going to be open. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be real. I'm going to be passionate. I'm going to be aggressive. I'm not going to do that with you. If you don't like real and you don't like raw, don't follow me. That's easy enough for you. But when you come over here, when you come tiptoeing around my life, understand. I ain't got nothing to do with whatever happened to you over there in your yesteryears. I ain't got nothing to do with whatever type of pain, whatever type of heartache, what type of troubles that you had to go through back then. Go over there and heal. Stop making excuses and go over there and heal. Stop coming up with this and that and I can't do this because of this and I can't do that. Because go over there and heal. Because it ain't hurt people that's hurting people. It's hurt people that's refusing to heal that's hurting people. It's hurt people that's making excuses for why they hurt that's hurting people. No, you're not finna play with me. You're not finna play with me. They left you and I'm about to leave you too. And I'm gonna tell you, yo, that's just how that's gonna go, babe. You better ask Josh about Josh. What I do it? <laughs> Detachment top tier. Do you, do you see it? Top tier. Get up out your what? <laughs> you better ask Josh. Josh, uh, Josh said, wait a minute, you cut them off completely. Walk away. Don't call, don't text, don't interact, nothing. And then I do, I bow out gracefully too. Don't, I'm trying to tell you, I don't, I don't waste no time. That codependency, oh baby, your coach ain't got no codependency. None at all, baby. I'm not attached to nothing or nobody. I can live without everybody. Understand that I really and truly care. Love them. Do. Love them. Do anything in the world possible for them. But at, no, no, I ain't going to lose myself in behind you. I ain't going to do that. I ain't losing myself in behind my soul. Not, not at all. Mm -mm. Cut them, cut them off and keep going. <laughs> cut them off and keep going. I'm gonna tell you that right now. It, and I'm, I'm gonna tell you this right here because somebody tried to play with me too. They gonna talk about well, you know, that's considered ghosting. It ain't ghosting when folk know exactly what it is that they doing. Stop you. Stop. Stop feeling like you gotta give somebody some closure and go over there and break something down for them because they feel like they go, oh, you ghosting them if you just up and leave. No, they already they was very much aware of what it is that they done in your life already. And I'm not. The disrespect was the closure. That was the closure right there. When you disrespected me, that was your closure. When you stepped out of line with me, that was your closure. Right then, right there. We not having no one more conversation. We not finna be that dog chasing his tail, not that hamster on that treadmill. Folk know exactly what they doing and they know the consequences of their actions when they doing it. These adult children, oh no ma'am, no sir baby, I'm not accepting no excuses from them at all. Hello somebody, that's right, if you sick and tired of being in that life right there, baby, where well, you gotta constantly go back and talk about this, constantly go back and talk about that, constantly go and do this, Const baby, I'm not one of them. I'm not your babysitter. I'm not your babysitter and I'm not your mama. That's not my job to raise you. I'm not even finna do it. I'm gonna hit you with the Keisha Cole. I changed mama. What? I don't want you no more. Should've caught me while I care, baby. Yeah, yeah, it should have caught me while I care because I don't care now. I'm up. <laughs> the disrespect was the closure. That's it. That's it. That's all. Yeah, I changed my mind now. You better, well, boy, when I'm back around, change my mind. It's over with for you for real. You might go ahead and cancel Christmas. Ain't no coming back from that. Don't let me, yo, y'all know when I start singing on it, it's really done. It's done, done. All capital letters. I'm not playing with people. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. <laughs> I'm sorry, friend. I'm sorry, friend, but that's just how, that's just how we got to go, y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's just, that's just, mm -mm. I'm, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not the one for it. I'm just not the one for it. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm a, I'm a firm, I'm a firm 
believer. You know what I'm saying? I'm a firm believer in if they can't love you the way that you deserve to be loved, it's time for you to go. If they can't respect you, if they can't reciprocate the energy, then no. I'm not going to live another year. I'm not going into another year with another individual that cannot love me the way that I deserve to be loved. I'm not doing it. I'm in a preparation stage right now. I got about six more weeks in this year. And I'm about to make every single day count. I got six more weeks in this year. And when I tell you that I'm locked in, when I tell you that it's project me, yeah, cause I'm working on me, it's project me. My focus is me. My responsibility is replenishing my cup. I'm self full these remaining six weeks. Mm -mm. 2023, we Steph Curry in this thing called life. Start your business, start your brand, start your podcast, start selling your lip gloss, start selling your bundles, open up your gym, start your training camp, start cutting hair. Whatever it is that you truly want to do, I dare you to use these next six weeks to really get locked in, to really get focused on you and your development. And for those of you who feel like it's going to hurt, if I leave them, it's going to hurt. Baby, it's going to hurt either way. Did you hear what I said? It's going to hurt either way. It's going to hurt either way. Staying going to hurt. And while you're staying, you're prolonging your healing. You're stunting your own growth. If you decide to stay, you're self-sabotaging. But if you decide to go, I promise you that the pain is going to be temporary. It's going to hurt for a while until you get used to living without them. It's going to hurt for a while until you really build up your self-esteem and your confidence. It's going to hurt for a while until you break the habit of being in that individual's life and them being in yours. It's going to hurt for a while. But you will get over it. And I don't know who that's for, but I want you to understand. But you're going to get over it. You'll be fine. Stop tricking yourself like this is going to be the end of you. It's just the end of that situation. And just like every other bad situation that you've encountered in your life. That you thought you had to count yourself out. That you thought that you wasn't going to make it through. That you thought was going to end you. Look at you living. Look at you breathing. Look at you. This too shall pass. What you feel right now, you ain't gonna feel always. That hurt, that ain't gonna last always. That broken spirit back, that ain't gonna last always. That broken heart, that ain't gonna last always, mamas. You can heal that. You can fix that. But you got to make a decision. It's either going to be them or you. It's either going to be them or you. You come too far for you to throw all your work away. You come too far to throw all your prayers away. You've come too far to throw all your life coaching, all your therapy sessions. You've come too far to throw it all away now. Got to wait on this one to reconnect. You've come too far to throw it all away. You come too far to throw it all the way. Stay focused. Stay in alignment. Guard your focus. Hold on to your faith. 
follow your plan. You want to know how to get unstuck? Change your mind. You want to know how to get unstuck? Change your mind. Change the way that you think about yourself. You want to get unstuck? Develop a plan. Strategize. You want to know how to stay unstuck? Practice good self-care. And that's a free gem. That's a free gem right there. Mm -hmm. Practice good self-care. Practice loving on yourself. Practice coming through for yourself. Practice making yourself a priority in your life. That's all you got to do. Practicing good self-care is practicing a, pr practicing a situation where you always putting yourself first. And giving everybody else whatever is left. That's what that is. That's free. That's free right there. I just get that's a free gym right there. And it works. You owe this to yourself. All right? Every single day that you wake up and you put 10 toes to the ground, I want you to sweat yourself. Tell yourself how beautiful you are and how much you love you. Because it's no love like self-love and you first have got to love yourself way before you able to love anybody else. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's your favorite online motivational speaker, your favorite online personality. It's your girl, Street Poet. I apologize, you know what I'm saying? You know, I probably wasn't able to give it to you like I normally give it to y'all, but y'all know I still got stitches in my mouth, so I had to do what I had to do. But it was so many people that was asking me about, you know, being stuck in situations and how to get unstuck and how to do this and do that, that I wanted to go back. And I wanted to remind everybody, you know, of this is what we just talked about, right? So I wanted to put it back out there for everybody. So, you know what I mean? With that being said, I love you guys so much, man. But if I motivated you, if I inspired you in any type of way, shape, or form, man, do me a favor. Go ahead and double tap on my screen. Send me some love. If I danced around in your life and your love, your relationship in any type of way, shape, or form, send me some love real quick. Thank you so much, man. Oh, y'all ain't, ain't play no games. Y'all over there. Y'all over there. Y'all ain't play no games, man. Y'all at 400K? Let's go. Let's go. I love it, man. Yeah, that's what's up right there. Thank y'all so much, man. Y'all double tap on my screen, Instagram. I thank you guys for hanging out with me. I thank you guys for, you know what I'm saying, just, you know, commenting. Those of you who have shared, those of you who have bought badges and sent them to me, man, thank you guys so much. Really had to thug this. Now I'm about to go take this pain man. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much, Dream82. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Yeah, man, I tell you what. Speed of recovery. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm going to put it inside. I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to put it in there, y'all. Thank you guys so much, man. If y'all want to get this t-shirt right here, it says um, my detachment is top tier. It's available on my website, LeroyHall.com. You guys can grab that uh, as well. Uh, some of y'all that follow me, y'all might know already, I am going on tour in 2023. Man, our first stop is going to be Dallas, Texas. The link is up on my Facebook page right now. If you want to grab tickets, the tickets are limited. The space is limited. But if you want to love on me in person, if you want to meet me in person, if you want to come and get this word of the tickets for Dallas, Texas, the Eventbrite link is up on my Facebook right now. You can go to Eventbrite, put it in there, man. It is available. Oh, it's on my website. He said it's on my website. So LeroyHuddle.com. If y'all trying to meet me in Dallas, if y'all trying to eat good, trying to have this word, all of that, make sure you go to my website expeditiously. Go ahead and copy your tickets because like I said, these tickets will go fast my following out in dallas texas is is out of control so i know i already know how they're gonna give it up so with that being said man we might we might be coming out to los angeles too we uh we only did the first four months and then we got the, no, the next four months following that so you guys y'all go ahead thank you so much she she i appreciate you friend you know what i'm saying so do me a favor if you haven't went to my website already leroyhall.com do so so you can grab your tickets to see me live in dallas texas those of you that's in the dmv guess what i will be in the dmv december the third the flyer is up on my instagram right now i'll be one of the speakers for the adjusting your crown as well but the, the tour dates 
Man, we're going from Atlanta. We're going to Dallas. We're going to Atlanta. We're going to Charlotte. We're in Brooklyn, New York. Man, keep in, keep in mind, man, that Miami, we coming to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Chicago definitely coming to y'all. You know what I mean? So we got all this different stuff lined up. So y'all get ready. Y'all get ready. Get ready. Get ready. TD Jake's verse. You know what I'm saying? Boys, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. When I tell y'all, man, so yeah, the Mastermind Tour, man, it's definitely coming to your city, man. We're kicking it off, kicking that thing off January the 25th, and that's going to be in Dallas, Texas, 28th. Dallas, Texas. So y'all make sure y'all get ready to meet me out there. I love you guys so much. Hey man, I had to I had to throw y'all this chapstick ain't it. Cause I keep putting this on, but my lips this is ashy. It is cold out here though. Oh yeah. 2023, baby. We on tour with it. We on tour with it. Baltimore, I'm going to um Baltimore. That's right, Woodroff. Woodroff, Maryland is where I will be December the 3rd. December the 3rd, Woodroff, Maryland. I will be there. And that's not far from Baltimore. That's probably like 10, 15 minutes from what I've been told. So December the 3rd, the flyer is up on my Instagram page now. So y'all meet me out there. Yeah, man. I got, man, listen, I got stitches in my mouth. But it was too many people that was asking me about the live that we did right before I went to have surgery. So I came back today just so i can bring that live back for those people and also because i told instagram that i was going to do the live on instagram as well and i didn't and i'm a woman of my word if i'm not anything else i'm dedicated to life coaching i'm dedicated to motivational speaking what i do this is my purpose this is my passion this is what i do eat sleep and breathe motivational speaking man y'all don't understand i was laying in a dentist's office them cutting through my gum with my earbuds in listening to motivational speaking that's just what it is that's that's how that's it's what i love i love people my love for people you won't believe i love people i want to see you guys heal i want to see you guys living your best life i want to see you creating a better version of yourself like it's just what i do you know what i mean so um i, I had to tough it up so i can get on here today man so thank you guys um i was awake for most of it i did i was dozing in and out but i was awake for most of it yeah uh, but y'all, I'm gonna get up out of here. I love you, Shay. It shows your passion. Thank you. I appreciate that. There you go. Woodroff, Maryland. Yep, that's exactly how you spell it. The flyer is up on my page right now. So um, the promoter did tell me she had a couple more tickets left. I'm not sure how many, but she had a couple more tickets left. So y'all can go and grab y'all tickets from there. Uh, Miami, my partner is actually from Miami. So I know for a fact we're going to be coming to Miami soon as well. So yes, grab your tickets for that. But um, I talked to her a few minutes ago. And I think what she's going to do is she's going to also open up the Charlotte link. So you will be able to go get your Dallas tickets and your Charlotte tickets tickets right now off of Eventbrite and then you know as we're gonna keep doing two months at a time opening up the Eventbrite so I hope y'all ready man we got two phones yeah we got two phones so I'm on Instagram and I'm on TikTok and I'm just going back and forth and one thing I want to tell y'all is that I love y'all and thank y'all so much because you even though y'all know I be working on two different phones y'all be so tuned in and y'all be showing me so much love and y'all are so patient even with y'all comments y'all be checking other people like yo she on two different she on two different lives I give her a second she coming back and I notice y'all comments and I really love that about y'all I really and truly do thank you guys so so much um, thank y'all so much for, for that as well. But I'm going to get up out of here. You guys enjoy the rest of y'all day. And most importantly, y'all stay motivated. All right, guys. So I'm going to get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm, I was going to give y'all the opportunity. Hey, what's going on, Ohio? I'm going to give y'all the opportunity real quick. I need y'all to, to do me a favor. I need y'all to do me a favor real quick. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm telling you what she said. Baby, you... Listen, I need y'all to do me a, a a favor real quick. I need y'all to get us to 500K. We ain't finna backpedal. I know my mouth stitched up and all that, but we ain't gonna backpedal. We ain't going off live for nothing less than 500K. If we ain't at a million, our minimum gonna be 500K. Y'all done got me spoiled with it. Nah, y'all y'all did it for me all last week. I can't, I, I uh-uh. I ain't selling it for less now. Nah. 
They showed me that y'all can do it. Y'all done showed me that y'all can do it. We, mm -mm, we ain't backpedaling now. Y'all done showed me. Y'all done showed me that, that we can do it. I need y'all to double tap on that screen real quick. You know what I'm saying? Show me some love. If I lifted your spirits in any type of way, if I motivated you in any type of way, inspired you, any of that, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and double tap on that screen, man. We have 462. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, man. Yeah, it's cold out here, but I'm going to um, put my mask back on and stuff, too to keep that um keep that air out um thank she said uh thank you for being your authentic self thank you i appreciate that and, and thank you so much for recognizing that because that's one of my strong points i try to make sure that you know what i'm saying uh, i'm true to what it is that i feel and what i love you know what i'm saying like and that's it you know my i'm um, fueled by peace purpose and love man that's it and positivity most importantly you know what i'm saying i pray to god every day i always want to be led by him you know what i'm saying all that good stuff man that, that's just what it is for me you know what I'm saying? Every single day. You know, and I want you guys to wake up with that gratitude every single day. Wake up loving yourself every single day, making yourself a priority. I cannot say that enough. Because once people see that you are a priority in your life, then they understand just how to handle you. They know for a fact that I can't talk to you any kind of way. I can't do this. I can't do that. People know. People know. Just like you have friends and your friends pick and choose who they tell certain things to because they know that certain friends, one, they, this one might talk too much, so I can't tell you. This one right he ain't gonna put up with this so i can't tell you and that's how you have to have your ship ran you have to let it be known oh i'm not the one that you can bring that negativity to i'm not the one that you can bring that drama to i'm not the one that you can bring that chaos to you got to be upstanding and be an example of what it is that you want for your life once you start holding yourself to a different standard once you start showing people exactly who you are and what that change is that you come with then people will all fall in line and they'll fall in line naturally they'll start saying things like oh yeah i ain't gonna say nothing to her because you already know she how she act oh i ain't gonna invite her to that why because you know we doing this this and this and we know she ain't gonna want to be a part they will naturally de uh, develop that sense of respect for you based on how you treating yourself and that's the reason why i harp on it so bad as far as you knowing your worth as far as you loving yourself as far as you being that type of person to you because i know that you know that's what's going to be the game changer at the end Okay, so I just want to tell you guys that I uh, love you so so much. Oh, yeah, um, Ronnie, good job, good job, good job. You caught all the you caught the notes fast too. Good God, and you you ain't oh did you you must have, did she show at the beginning? I thought it was just me and Josh for a while. She came, man. Okay, hey Ronnie, be Ron, listen. Ronnie got got it down packed now. She know how to listen fast, so she can type fast and get everything that I need. And get everything I need because I talk very fast. So you have to listen to what it is that I'm saying. And that's the reason why I'm trying to train myself to take, you know what I'm saying, pauses when I'm saying stuff so that I can give you time, you know what I'm saying, to go back and write and stuff like that. Because I do know that I talk fast, but Ronnie be catching it, boy. Josh Josh ain't trying to catch no notes. Josh trying to catch all trolls. All he going to do is block you. He send people to the block party so much. Them people be inboxing me like, man, Josh didn't block me all the time. But y'all, I'm gonna get up out of here, man. I love my team, man. I love the way that they work. They always deliver, man. You guys, y'all enjoy <laughs> enjoy the rest of y'all day. Thank you guys so much for uh, hanging out with me and tolerating me and my my mouth right now. Okay, me and my mouth right now. So give me a couple of days and um, I'm gonna get this thing back together. I love you guys. Enjoy the rest of the day and look at y'all, 515. That's what I'm talking about. 515k. That's what that, man. See, I'm telling you, I knew we could do it. Thank you guys so much because y'all didn't got me spoiled. So now I don't want to get off of here with nothing less than 500. From now on, mm -mm, I don't want nothing less than 500. Y'all already showed me what we can do. Thank you guys so much and I'll catch y'all on the next live.